Hi, in this video, you will learn how to execute the pullouts row factorization method, which constitutes an attack against the RSA crypto system. So imagine that you're being given the, full, the following parameters. So you have n equals 1271. Now, the pullout row method depends on other parameters that we choose somewhat arbitrarily. And typically in exercise, I'll just give you the starting point. So we have a starting point of x0 equals y0 here in this particular exercise, x0 equals y0 equals 2, and a polynomial p of x equals x squared plus 1. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to construct a sequence of xi's and of yi's, and then xi plus 1. So we're agreeing, we're, we're, the starting points are given to you. And xi plus 1 is going to be p of xi mod n and uh, y i plus one is going to be p of p of y i mod n and at each step of the way we are going to check the gcd between x i minus y i and n and if that gcd is non-trivial so most of the time it's going to be so one or n which is not very interesting but sometimes it will be either p or q and if that's the case then we win okay so let's see on this particular and very simple example uh, uh, how this works so now bearing in mind of course that sometimes so we have a bound so polarizer method has a provable bound on the number of iterations and then a heuristic bound, but also sometimes, you know, those, those number of iterations are going to be different, okay? And then here I happen to choose for this video an example where we converge very quickly uh, uh, towards a solution, so, um, and that, but that could take much longer, okay? Just not very great uh, uh, to have to do it all by hand. So um, here we have, so we have x0 equals y0 equals 2. Now x1 will be equal to 8. And then, so again, I'll let you also do that uh, with your calculator. Uh, y1 equals 68, OK? And now the GCD, I'll just say GCD. Well, actually, let's just write it down. Of x1 minus y1 and n. So this is uh, 1, OK? which means uh, we need to go to the next step, okay? So let's go to uh, uh, x2, which by the way happens to be y1, okay? And that's because remember, y is p of p. I mean, y is updated by doing p of p and x is just one single iteration of p. So now y2 equals 767. And our GCD here is also going to be 1, OK? So we continue. And what we have next is x3 is 815. And y3, again, these need to get, you need a calculator, of course, to calculate those values. Uh, I'm just using my cheat sheet here, uh, 629. And now the GCD of x3 minus y3, absolute value, of course, and n, this value is 31, which means I have a non-trivial factor of n, and I can easily retrieve, of course, the other one, concluding that n is 31 times 41, OK? Now, very few iterations this time, but in general, you can't predict that that Poulard's row method will, will terminate after so few iterations, OK? Uh, but typically, when I give exercises in tests, I try to make sure that we don't have 100 iterations uh, because uh, that, that would be rude, OK? So um, here we go. You know now how to execute successfully Poulard's row factorization method. Thank you for listening.